My name is Celia Miltz. I live in West Palm Beach, Florida. We have three children, and our youngest daughter, Stephanie, lives nearby in Wellington, Florida. We play golf. I do a lot of genealogy research. I take care of my daughter's two small children a lot. They're the apple of our eye. Stephanie was 16. One day, she was in the school cafeteria, and she collapsed, and we were referred to a hematologist oncologist. The diagnosis came back that she had bone marrow cancer called essential thrombocythemia. People won't always understand the difficult symptoms that you are dealing with. That's probably one of the biggest challenges is that there's a lot going on under the surface that people won't see. I would say my daughter struggled most with the isolation that she felt. Being a mom, I was always able to nurse her back to health. I nursed her back through the, the chicken pox, the flu, strep throat, tonsillectomies. But this, I had no power. I couldn't nurse her back. I couldn't change the diagnosis. I couldn't take it away from her. So I got the inspiration from her to try and give her hope and encouragement by raising money ourselves. And that's how Friends of ET Research got started. So I poured myself into the nonprofit. Raising public awareness was one of the biggest stumbling blocks that we had. In 2005, Bob Rosen invited me to become a board member of the MPN Research Foundation, which I happily accepted. And in this way, I would have a bigger say on where the money that we were raising, how it would be spent and where it would be spent. But I never stopped fundraising. I believed in the community. I believed in the process that I'd started and I wanted to carry it through. Our golf tournament, that's what we decided to do as a fundraiser. We were members of a golf club in Connecticut at the time, and all of our friends were golfers. <laughs> and those friends became members of my board. We had great prizes. We had raffles, silent auctions, live auctions. We had some celebrity people in attendance. What I was seeking for my daughter Stephanie was for her to find some sort of solace and comfort. She would speak at these events and everybody would cry. And we just all came together as a great big family. And she really needed that kind of support. You want your child to feel encouraged and uplifted and supported and not burdened by not having a support network. I still wish I could wave a wand and make it go away. But together as a family, we all support her and just do the best that we can. We really have advanced the science. It's very rewarding to know that our work has had an impact to all MPN patients. Not only have we brought a lot of attention and financial support to the MPN community, we've helped to fund some very important research that was not happening at the time when Friends of ET had started. I feel very humbled and also very rewarded that the work that I started in 1999-2000 has paid off. I love that my mom has been chosen to be an MPN hero. She's been my MPN hero for 20 years. To be recognized for the work that I've done to have it be nationally recognized is a very, very special reward. I will carry that in my heart forever.